Welcome to Me Diaries. My name is Shandell and I'm here to share a message of hope. I hope you're having a great week. I hope you're having a great day. I'm just happy that you're here with me. So if you haven't already, I would love for you to like, subscribe, comment, um, share this channel. Um, you know, I'll be here every Sunday sharing a message with you guys, a message of hope. This, um, that you guys are important to me. This channel is important to me. And um, I just thank you for everyone that has supported me, followed, liked, shared, comment. I love you guys. So, um, you know, I heard recently um, about somebody I know. I didn't know him super well, but um, I knew him enough. And uh, he passed away from an overdose. And so my heart is heavy for that because he was young. And um, I know that I, maybe I didn't know him like very close, but I knew that he was worthy of a better life than what um, drugs have to offer. And I saw the, the struggle and he tried, but um, you know, a lot of people know me now from the sober Shandell, but I mean, five and a half years ago, um, you know, I, I had gotten sober, but I used from 13 to 33, right? And I got sober when I was 33. Um, you know, I continued to use even though I saw the devastation on my children's faces, right? Um, I mean, I did drugs in front of my kids. I'm not proud of it, but that's my story. And, um, you know, I, I, was, I was CPS involved uh, and I was doing this program, Family Drug Court, to get my kids back faster. They kicked me out of there because I couldn't, couldn't quit using. I struggled with addiction my whole life. It got to the point where CPS was ready to terminate my rights. And, you know, by the grace of God, you know, uh, when I was out in the streets, and I was staying at this hotel and this lady took me to church with her. And I walked into that church and I came out a different person. They did an altar call and they prayed over me. And the, the so when I talk about addiction and all of that, um, I was bad. I was bad. I almost lost my children and, and I tried and people say, oh, you're doing the work. God delivered me from addiction. God took the obsession, took the desire. I asked for him to take it from me. So God allowed me to put the work in because he took the obsession and the desire. He delivered me from addiction and he did it for me. He can do it for you, you know, and if you have a loved one who is struggling, pray for them. There is so much power in the prayer, right? We don't have to sit back and feel powerless and, and watch them destroy their lives, right? We can pray. We can intercede for them. God has given us authority. God hears our prayers. He hears our prayers. It is for his, for your person that you love that's out there in addiction. God's will for their life is to be sober. God's will for their life is to walk in abundance and joy and, 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 have their children and all of those things, you know, and so we can pray for them. And if you're struggling with addiction, God can deliver you from it. He can take the obsession. He can take the desire. I don't have triggers. I don't have, um, I don't have triggers. I don't have cravings. I have no reservations because God literally took it from me. And in that process of taking the drugs and the addiction and the desire and the, the mental torment of it, he healed my heart. He, he, de he delivered me from a, rec a, a direction, rejection, abandonment, all of those things. He's, he's taken it from me. He healed my heart. He delivered me and he set me free. And he can do that for you. He can do that for your children. He can do that for your loved one. If you're dealing with um, if you're dealing with uh, something in your life, God can deliver you from that. If you are dealing with someone that you love, it is just, and, and you feel powerless, pray, God can deliver them. Do not lose hope, okay? Because um, I'm a walking example, okay? Anybody who knows me, anybody who knows me from my past, don't lose hope because there is a way out. If you're dealing with depression, there's a there's an answer. If you're dealing with anxiety, if you're dealing with fear, if you're dealing with anger, if you're dealing with rage, if you're dealing with um uh trauma, God can heal you. He will heal you, and I know that because he's healed me, and there's nothing special about me. But I spent most of my life dealing with addiction. I spent most of my life feeling powerless. I met I spent most of my life feeling insecure, unlovable, um, I felt like every time somebody rejected me, it was something that I did. But today, 
through the transforming of the Holy Spirit, through the transforming of the of God, my life is completely different. Um, I have my children in my life today. We have good relationships. Me and my mom have good relationship today. My family, we're close today. Um, I, I, I've gotten a bachelor's degree. I have a good job. I have friends today. And that is through the power of God delivering me and setting me free. And he can do that for you. He can do that for anybody anybody he can we don't have to suffer because god is a god who heals us from the inside out who transforms our life from the inside out that we don't have to be stuck in bondage we don't have to live hating ourselves we don't have to live dying in our addictions because god can and will heal you he will and I know that because I didn't care to know who God was before but when I when I went up to that altar call my life changed the God, the love of God is faithful. It endures. It is pow there's power in the name of Jesus. There's power in the blood. Jesus died on a cross for us to have to have victory over diseases, over sicknesses, over death. We have this promise. We have the Holy Spirit inside of us. God, you know, and it just breaks my heart to see people continually dying because of this addiction. But those can be broken in the name of Jesus. Um, I want to, I want to share one of my favorite scriptures with you. Um, and it is, it's a powerful scripture and I want you to declare it over your life. And if you have someone that is dealing with addiction, declare their salvation over their life, declare sobriety over their life, pray from a throne room position and pray and, and, and thank God for their healing. Okay. Because if God did it for me, he can do it for anyone. Okay. Um, and so I'm going to see, I'm going to pray or I'm going to read Psalms 91. So he who dwells in the secret place of the most high shall abide under the shadow of the almighty. I will save the Lord. He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Surely he will deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the perilous pestilent. And he shall cover you with his feathers and under his wings, you shall take refuge. His truth shall be your shield and your buckler. You shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that walks in the darkness, nor the destruction that lays waste at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side and 10,000 at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. Only with your eyes shall you look and see the reward of the wicked. Because you have made the Lord, who is my refuge, um, even the most high your dwelling place, no, no evil shall befall you nor shall any plague come near your dwelling for he will give charge he will for he shall give his angels charge over you to keep you in all of your ways in their hands they shall bear you up lest you dash your foot against a stone you shall tread upon lions and the cobra and you shall trample or you, and you shall and the young lion and the serpent you shall trample because he has set his love upon me, therefore I will deliver him. I will set him on high because he has made my name known. He has known my name. He shall call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in his trouble and I will, deli I will deliver him and honor him with long life. I will satisfy him and show him salvation. Amen. Amen. So I want you to join me in this prayer. If you are dealing with addiction, if you know somebody who's dealing with addiction read psalms 91 over your life read psalms 91 over their life make it personal because we are covered by the most high we are shielded and protected god will send holy angels to guard you in all your ways we don't have to fight our battles alone we have a heavenly father who loves us and who is fighting battles for us and and for the ones you love he will set you free he will set the, your loved ones free whoever the sun sets free is free indeed so pray with me and 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 open your heart up and pray from a place of faith that god can and will deliver you okay <laughs> Heavenly Father, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, Father, we come before you, God. We come before you in a stance of faith. We come before you, Father, in the throne room position, God. We trust in you. We love you, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. God, we open our hearts up to you. And I'm speaking against anybody who anybody that is dealing with addiction. We break the power of that addiction right now. We break the power of that desire and the obsession in the name 
name of Jesus. We command it to leave now and never return. I speak and I declare healing over you. I declare sobriety over you. I declare uh, God's hand in over your life and everything that you put your hand to. I pray anybody dealing with addiction, we break the power of addiction right now in the name of Jesus. We break the power of uh, depression and fear and anxiety and rage and anger. We break it right now in the name of Jesus and we command it to leave. We break the power of uh, that lie that the enemy would tell us that we're not worthy, that we've made, that we've messed things up so far that there's no point. We break the power of that lie right now in the name of Jesus and we command it to leave. And I declare over your life right now in the name of Jesus that you will have joy, that you will have peace, that you will have courage, that you will have boldness in the name of Jesus. I declare over your life that you are a conqueror. I declare over your life that you are healed in the name of Jesus. I declare over your life from the top of your head to the bottom of your feet that you are healed in the name of Jesus I declare over your life that you will everything you put your hands to you will succeed because the power of God is working through you I declare it over your life and I thank you father anybody who is dealing with a loved one that is an addiction right now I speak to their heart Lord in the name of Jesus I ask that you cover them with joy and peace and comfort father speak to them give them ears to hear you God and eyes to see you give them a boldness inside of their hearts Father, to intercede and declare for their loved ones, Father. I ask right now, Lord, in the name of Jesus, anybody dealing with addiction, anybody dealing with depression, anybody dealing with trauma, Lord, right now in the name of Jesus, I ask God that you do with them what you did with me, Father. I pray, Lord, that you put an intercessor desire in their heart. I pray, Father, right now that you put a hunger in their heart for you, God. I pray, Father, that you put a fire inside of them right now, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, that they would fall head over heels with you, God, that they would surrender their life to you, God, that they would put you at the forefront of their minds, God. And I just thank you, Lord. You are bigger than any demon. You are bigger than any thing working against them right now. So we speak against that, Lord, and I plead the blood of Jesus over their minds. I plead the, plead the blood of Jesus over their houses. I plead the blood of Jesus over every part of their life right now in the name of Jesus. We praise you, God. We love you. We love you, Father. We honor you, God, in the mighty name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord. I thank you that you've heard this prayer. I thank you, Lord, that nothing can hinder this prayer, God. And I thank you, Father, that through this prayer, you will be glorified, God, in the mighty name of Jesus. You are a God that heals. You are a God that delivers. You are a chain breaker, Father. You break the chains, God. You provide. You are a living. You are alive, God, here with us. So I thank you for that, God. Thank you, Lord. Fill them up, Father, with the Holy Spirit fire, God, in the name of Jesus. We praise you, God. We honor honor you. We love you, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, I love the Lord. I am so grateful for God and all that he does for us. So I just encourage you to read Psalms 91 every single day. Make it personal in your life. I love you guys. Be kind to yourselves and know that God hears your prayers and he loves you. All right. Well, I hope you guys have a great week and I will see you next Sunday. Take care.